haven't seen your boyfriend. Ten minutes. You know the drill. Thank you. You shouldn't be here. Neither should you. Confess killer, remember? Please. You need to call back up to kill a spider. You didn't kill anyone. You know, this is why our relationship never really worked, Matt. Because it turns out you don't know me at all. You didn't kill Robin any more than I did. Or Patrick. Or Jason. Okay, what happened to her was an accident. I caused the gas leak. If I had let Robin work, then she might have been done way before that leak ever happened. Or if Patrick would have just called security instead of going to the lab when he heard the alarm. Yeah, or if Jason hadn't waited so long to go get his checkup until it was almost too late, then, then you know, any one of these hundred different things could have happened and Robin might still be alive. She'd still be alive if it weren't for me. No, no look. All of us contributed to the explosion, but none of us actually killed Robin. So you, you just, you have to deal with this instead of making up some story. That's not that, what I'm doing. That, that is, it is exactly what you're doing. I know that you love Robin. And, and I know that you feel guilty, but telling them the story that, that you killed Niles and, and, and the first officer, it's not gonna bring her back. You don't know that. I do know that. I do, this confession of yours, it's not gonna do anything except get you 25 to life. Good. You know what, you need to go. No, I am not going anywhere until you hear me out. Look, I have not been the best boyfriend. At all. I made fun of your career. And made you feel like you weren't good enough for me, which, I mean, the truth of the matter is if anybody is dating down here, it's, it's you. It's not true. Yeah, it is. It is. Because I'm all about my career and my research and what it's going to do for the patients, and I'm ignoring the person who's in front of me right now. And why he took me back, I'm, I'll never know. to choose between Spinelli and me. And I knew that he was ancient history. I knew it was never gonna be any more than just friends, but I made you do that just to prove that I could. I, I took advantage of Spinelli. And I wasn't a good friend to him any more than I was a good girlfriend to you. So, look, all this effort you're making to save me is just a waste of time, okay? You're both better off without me. Well, I can't speak for Spinelli. But... Fine, okay. Sp Forget Spinelli, Matt. Let's talk about you. Okay, you're a brilliant doctor, and you save people's lives. I mean, you should be at the hospital right now. You should be helping people. Your patients need you, and they deserve you, and I don't. You're wrong. You're wrong, because without you, my life... I, I don't, <laughs> Matt, I don't want that don't, life. I, want I love you. What did you just say? Uh, that I love you. I am in love with you, and I and I have been for a while. No, you know what? I know why you're here. This is a trick. No, it's no, it's not a trick. It, it's the truth. Really? Then why are you waiting to come now to tell me? Because I didn't realize what I had until I was about to lose you. Because I, I am my own worst enemy, and we tend to do that. We don't let ourselves be happy. I don't deserve to be happy. No, yes, you do. You do. We both do. Robin would want that for both of us. It's too late. No, it's not. It's not. Just tell them that you've been flying and we can get back to our lives. Just, just say the word. I'm, I'm so sorry. I Shut up, Spinelli. Even... Hey, tell me what you were about to say. Tell... Are you okay? He's fine. He's fine. Just forget about that. Stay with me right now, okay? Just what you were about to say something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. No, go. it's okay. You weren't interrupting me. Excuse me. Important. Excuse me. Look, I'm guilty, okay? I confess, and nothing you say or do and is gonna I change love that. You. And maybe by telling you that, that's being selfish. But is that really such a bad thing to want you in my life instead of in some cell for, for a crime that you didn't commit? Look, I appreciate how much both of you care. But you're not helping me, okay? You're just making this harder. Good. It should be hard to throw your life away. It should be impossible. I can't do this anymore. You both have to go. Wait, and what? You and have what? to and move just, on. And just leave you here? No, we can't We're do not that, just gonna... Max. Guard! No, don't call the guard. Guard! Why can't I get through to you? Guard! Maxie, why won't you listen to me? Goodbye. Maxi. God! So if you I have 
the worst timing of anyone I have ever met. You said I was sorry. For what? For what? Barging in on us or eavesdropping on a private no, conversation? I wasn't eavesdropping. I was just, I was waiting. I was, I was waiting for the right time. I, I, I truly didn't. Well, you truth. failed, Spinelli. You failed because she was about to say something when you fell at her feet like, like, a, like a sack of dead fish. Dead fish? Because you stink. Look, I, I, I understand your frustration, but berating me won't solve our problems. Yeah, right now, you're my problem. No, Baxi's confession is our problem. And, and even if she were to recant at this late date, I doubt it would achieve the desired result, which is her freedom. Right? That's what we both want, correct? Yes. We both want Maxi to go free. Okay, then let's put our heads together. Right now, all I want to do is put my hands around your throat. Help me find who killed Lisa Niles. It's the only way we get Maxi free. <laughs> 